Hi guys, so today I decided I would like to do a really chill Q&A. At first I was going to do this on my regular camera, but um, it's out of battery. But uh, here I am with my robe, it is sunset, uh, daylight is going away really quickly. I'm just going to answer these questions for you guys. You all ask me questions on Twitter, so if you don't know, I have a Twitter, I have a lot of conversations with a lot of different people on there, so again, if you want, like to be my friend and communicate with me, that is the best place to do it. So first I have someone asking the soundtrack of my life, playlist of books that describes your life the best. Um, this is a hard question because I feel like my life doesn't really correlate with what I read. I live a very boring life and I read about these fantastic worlds. So, maybe I should go with a book that I found boring. Who, mm, I don't have an answer for this. <laughs> um, yeah. If I do come up with an answer, I'll put it here on the screen. But so far, I'm just like, I don't know. And she also says, totally not book related. What other hobbies do you have? I do like to do a little bit of drawing. I obviously consider booktube to be a hobby. Um, other than that, I don't really have any other hobbies. I kind of just read. <laughs> Mika asked, how do you feel booktube has affected your everyday life? Um, I feel like it's pushed me to read a lot more than I normally would. It's definitely a little bit of a pressure to keep up with the reading and sometimes like if I don't read, I do feel kind of guilty about that. But other than that, I feel like it has given me a little bit more confidence in the way that I carry myself and I also feel like it's kind of helped me in a way that I can communicate with people better because I don't know I don't really know how to approach people and it, it also makes me feel good because I feel like I have friends and a lot of great friends that I've made are from Twitter and booktube and all that stuff and she also asks where do you want to see yourself in five years in five years hopefully i will have graduated from college and i'm already working i don't know exactly where i'd be working but i want to um, live in an apartment and own a ferret so graduated from college apartment ferret life goals <laughs> she also says what motivates you to film and edit when you're not really feeling up to it um people <laughs> i feel like if i don't upload and edit I'm gonna let people down and I know I don't really have like I probably don't have like a fan base or whatever it's not the same but I still like my friends I I want to be able to be like hey I uploaded something I did it this week and it's also that sense of accomplishment especially when it's so busy in your life and so many things are happening getting that video out and edit it it's it feels like you did something and it just feels nice. The next question is, have you noticed your confidence changing since you started booktube? Like you started with little confidence and now you can have more or vice versa. So I actually started with another YouTube channel. I feel like I've mentioned this before. And in my first video, it was like horrible. I hope no one ever watches it. But I definitely feel a uh, difference right now. I'm like recording outside and like people are passing by and I like, don't really care so my confidence definitely has changed and I feel like it did also carry over to my real life because in the beginning when I started my YouTube I would never talk to people about it and now like if anyone asks I'll let them know like hey yeah I have a booktube channel and I don't like shy away from talking about it the next question is if you could custom design your own book how would you design it cover art pages format etc um white it's gonna be a white book and the it's gonna have deckled edges um and i feel like if it's not like a white and gold book it would have to be like a vintage looking book like pride love that cover something like that and then the format i would like to have it like because like i have this book idea obviously like every other book to her but it would have like scrolls in it and you would have like the little and it would have like cursive writing. I'm not portraying it well, but like 
Do you get what I mean? Non-book related, what is a personal goal you want to accomplish and by when? A personal goal, I would really like to do good in college. I have a very smart sister and I don't compete against her, but I would like to not be so far away from her because she's like so smart. And I just, I want to get good grades in college. Does that make sense? Like I want to do good. Next question is, say you have superpowers and you can pick five booktubers to be on your team. Who do you pick? <sighs> Emma from Emma Books. Just because I feel like she'd be like the smart one. Safina, because she would kick everyone's butt. Uh, Mika, because my sidekick, like, hello. Um, who else would I pick? Um... Uh, Elliot, because I feel like she would come up with like an interesting way to defeat the enemy. And the last one, I'll give it to you. This was my Ona. You can join me. You'll probably destroy the enemy with your words. The next one is opinions on audiobooks. It has an, a very hyped up topic on book Twitter for some reason. Audiobooks are my favorite. I love audiobooks and I feel like you shouldn't be judged because you read audiobooks it's such a fun way to read books and it's such a different way too i love reading books at the same time as i uh, listen to the audiobook it feels like a whole nother experience especially with nevernight that was such a beautiful book to both read and listen to because we had a narrator and i could listen to him talking to me and read it at the same time i don't know it's fun i feel like people should not judge others for reading audiobooks like i don't know the next one is a hard question obviously because my queen c always coming for me safina by the way she asked how do you feel about romance and sex in books you read are you okay with discussing 18 plus concepts on your channel i don't mind romance and sex in books um, I feel like I have a prude like people call me that all the time and like it's fine like I don't care um, I've had it used on me as an insult which okay fine but um, I don't mind it like I remember when I ever first read a scene like that and I was like oh my god what's happening but I feel like as you keep growing up like I'm 18 now and it's like I have to like oh it's it's part of life it's fine um, I won't, like, go out of my way to, like, make a discussion on it on booktube just because I, it's not something that I'm truly passionate about. I know some people really like to see that, um, portrayed in books, like, in Nevernight, it's such a real thing. Because it's real, like, people do it, it's fine, like, whatever, you know? And I feel, I'm rude, hello, look at me, I'm like, ugh, but, like, it happens, and it's a part of life. And it should be a part of books, and especially like if your parents don't teach you about it, um, books are a great way to learn about it. You know what I mean? What do you want people to think manifested in a word of your channel when talking about it? I want to think, um, I want people to say like friendly or welcoming. I want this to be a place where people can come to and they feel comfortable. Like, I want people to say, like, I want people, if I, if they don't agree with me, I want them to be able to voice their opinions. Like, if they completely disagree with me on an opinion, I want them to feel like they can say, because, like, I feel like sometimes, like, especially on Twitter, I feel like sometimes I'm afraid to voice my opinions because people will attack me and they, like, will misunderstand me or, like, whatever. But I want this to be, like, a safe place where people can be like, oh, no, it's, like, fine, you know? Okay guys, I believe those are all the questions. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I would like to say again, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. It is crazy, it is amazing. I never truly thought that I would ever be here. I love every single one of you. You have all been so supportive and so understanding of me and you've shown me so much love and it's truly, truly amazing. Um, I wish I could hug you guys, it's, it's crazy amazing i love you all so i wanted to do some shout outs for this video for some amazing people that i truly love and deserve recognition 
the first one has to be a Morrow's reader. I'll try to put a picture of her here. Wow. That is one beautiful channel. Like, her videos will leave you, like, mind blown because her content is truly, truly amazing. Like, hello. If you've been on my channel before, you already know Mika, Safina. Why aren't you subscribed? Lauren is another great channel. Again, picture over here. She will be like down below as well. Again, all my favorite people are gonna be, all my favorite people are going to be linked down below. This is very impromptu. I wanted to do it more formally, but the sun is going down slowly but surely. And yeah, that is it. Um I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy it and you enjoyed getting to know me better and me answering these questions. And uh, yeah, if you have any video suggestions that you would like to see, leave them down below in the descriptions. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you would like to be my friend, all of my social media is down below in the description box. And yes, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.